Alright. When was Summit Martial Arts formed? February 2nd, 2012. What is the main purpose of Summit Martial Arts? Well, we learn uh, Taekwondo here. Uh, so, Korean martial arts. Uh, so, the purpose behind uh, Taekwondo is to learn how to use your, your legs uh, for the purpose of self defense. Uh, the idea is your legs are longer than your arms and generally stronger than your arms, uh, which should make it a stronger tool uh, to use when defending yourself. Who are you trained by? Who was I trained by? I was trained by my father. Really? Yes. Uh, my, my father taught also. So he taught me. Um, but then his friend, who was also... Uh, a Taekwondo master, uh, his friend kind of took over the, the second part of teaching. Oh. So my dad taught me all the basic stuff and then he handed me off to his friend so that his friend could do all the hard stuff. Uh, probably so that I wouldn't be upset at my dad <laughs> for being mean to me. <laughs> so um, what's the history behind Summit? Well, uh, like I said, we started in 2012. Um, before we were Summit, uh, we were teaching out of the old Bali Total Fitness. So before it was LA Fitness, it was Bali Fitness. Uh, so that's where I used to teach out of. So we had, we had a bunch of students there, but then when Bali closed, um, that's when we, we came out and then we kind of started over with a new name, uh, new location, and uh, everything was just a fresh start. What inspired you to do Taekwondo and teach it? Um, it seemed like fun. It's, uh, it's hard to find, it's hard to find work that you enjoy. A lot of people work because they have to work, you know. And of course, I have to work also. Uh, not everyone is lucky enough to to find work that is just fun to do. Uh, you know? uh, so that's why I wanted to do this. It's something that I like. Um, it's fun. I can teach what I've learned, uh, so that you know, hopefully other people can can benefit from my knowledge. Um, but at the same time, you know, it can still be work, you know? So it, it takes care of everything at the same time. Um, what do you guys do in competitions and stuff like that? So when, when we compete, there are two events that we compete in. So one would be forms, uh, and these are the forms that all the students learn uh, for every belt. Uh, and the other form is sparring. So. We compete uh, under USA Taekwondo, which is the national governing body for the Olympic Committee. So here in the US, if you want to go to the Olympics, you have to compete under USA Taekwondo. Um, if you want to go to the World Championships, if you want to go to the Pan American Championships, you know, any big competition that you want to do, you have to go through uh, World Taekwondo or USA Taekwondo. Uh, so because of that, the competition is a little more specific, but that also means that it's a lot more refined, I guess. Um, the, the rules are, are set and it's very specific in how you're supposed to do everything. Uh, so they've they're, they've been able to standardize everything that we do, which makes it a little bit easier to kind of train for, because you don't have to train for a bunch of things. You can just focus on on either discipline, sparring or form. What dreams do you have for Summit? Well, for Summit, I'd like to see it continue to grow. Um, I would very much like to end up uh, in a much bigger location where we can do more than just teach martial arts classes, you know, so that maybe we can have uh, tutoring uh, 
rooms for, for tutoring or kids that might be having trouble with their schoolwork. Um, you know, tutoring rooms for music. We've got lots of kids that play piano. Um, you know, I want to, I would like to make this a place where kids can work on all the things that they're learning. You know, not, not just Taekwondo. Um, you know, in, in general, that's what I would like to see. Uh, specifically, uh, we've had a couple kids make the, uh, the U.S. national team. Uh, I'd very much like to see one of our kids maybe go on and compete in the Olympics. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, if it happens, that's great. If not, that's fine too. But, you know, that's kind of my own, my own personal dream uh, for the kids individually. Thank you for your time. Thank you.